What's going on, guys? Uh, Broncos receiver Jerry Judy was arrested in Colorado, and this is now the second Alabama receiver out of the 2020 class that was arrested. In this video, I'm, I'm obviously going to go over my thoughts about this situation with Jerry Judy, but then I also want to go over the 2020 class and see, like, why have there been so many bipolar moves? There have been many players are like either arrested, either they're superstars, or they're out of the league or busts. But this was from the actual sheriff's office where he got arrested. He was arrested in uh, Arapago. I don't know how to say it. It's in Colorado. He's in jail, and it is for charges of second degree criminal tampering with with domestic violence enhancer, and he has a misdemeanor. The uh, he has no bond hold. And obviously they said it is until proven guilty, but uh, I, I, have, I obviously don't know the charges other than what they are giving us. This is from the actual sheriff's office, but doesn't seem like he is going to be, he might not be available for week one and he might even be put in jail. Similar to his teammate Henry Ruggs, who was arrested last year in a, in a vehicle, um, a vehicle manslaughter. Now, uh, Jerry Judy obviously had kind of a slow start to his career, uh, had a lot of drops in his first year, and then last year he was injured for eight games, ten games, something like that. So I don't know what's going to happen with Jerry Judy is if he's going to be arrested, uh, if he's not not if he's going to be charged and he's going to be convicted of what seems like domestic violence uh, for what they're trying to explain. But look, I mean, looking at this 2020 class, which uh, Jerry Judy was a member of, I mean, they're either they're superstars, they're arrested, or they're busts. So Joe Burrow, obviously, went to the Super Bowl. Chase Young, really good edge rusher, had not a uh, rookie of the year, defense rookie of the year. Jeff Okuda, bust. He's played like no games in the NFL. Andrew Thomas finally starting to click, but he was horrible his rookie year. Tua Tagovailoa. The Dolphins posted oh, like a whack video of him underthrowing Tyree Kill, which we all know was gonna happen. Justin Herbert, he's doubled Tua's yards, and he's also like tripled his touchdowns. Justin Herbert's the best player, the best player out of this class, in my opinion. Derek Brown um, really hasn't done too much. I mean, he's a no, he was a nose tackle drafted seventh overall. Isaiah Simmons had like zero, no snaps. His first year, and then finally started to get playing time this year. Played all right. C.J. Henderson traded for a third-round pick to the Panthers. Jezik Wills, really good Pro Bowler. Makai Becton hurt the entire last year. Henry Ruggs, we all know his situation, got arrested, probably never coming back to the NFL. Tristan Wirfs, All-Pro offensive tackle, top five tackle in the entire league. Javon Kinlaw has not done almost anything in his career or so far. He's had 1.5 sacks in 18 games. Jerry Judy, now arrested. Uh, AJ Terrell, lockdown cornerback. Complete lockdown quarterback. C.D. Lamb, good receiver. Finally started to click this year. Austin Jackson, bench tackle. Damon Arnett, cut from the team for brandishing weapons online. Caleb on chase on, bust. Jalen Rager, bust. Justin Jefferson, superstar. Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray, 27 games, I don't know, 85 tackles. Cesar Ruiz should be playing center, but he plays guard, so he's not that great there. Brandon Ayuk, he has problem. He apparently had an issue with, like, work ethic last year. Jordan Love, like, horrible. Horrible pick, Jordan Love. Jordan Brooks, actually good. Jordan Brooks is very good at tackling. Patrick Queen, uh, another good player, back-to-back -back good linebackers taken. Isaiah Wilson, he played seven snaps his rookie year, and he immediately got cut, and he's likely out of the NFL probably his entire career, if he's not, if not a practice squad guy. Noe Benagini, horrible pick. Horrible pick at 30. Got no nothing out of him, and now he's like a three or four cornerback. Jeff, Glad Jeff Gladney, pretty sure he was arrested on domestic violence charges as well, and he also got cut on the Chiefs. Cleto Tolaire, another horrible pick in the first round. Not getting a lot of great value other than last year. Or other than um, his first year, we had 800 yards. Last year, he did get injured, though. But looking at that first round, it's, I mean, it's either superstars, arrested, busts, or solid role players. 
And I mean, I know that's like a lot of drafts, but it seems extremely like prevalent in this class that I mean, I mean, maybe it's just recency bias, but I don't know. It just seems very questionable that there have been so many players either arrested or bust in this class. And I know it's because it was 2020. We didn't have a lot of information on these players. I mean, like there wasn't a lot. Um, obviously, like the COVID happened and scouting got tampered with, especially early, um, later on, like before the draft. But looking at this class, we just got a lot of guys that are arrested or bust. And that kind of ties in for Jerry Judy because now he's one of them. Uh, but anyways, let me know your thoughts about this Jerry Judy situation. Second Alabama guy, uh, second Alabama receiver in that draft to be arrested. Uh, just let me know your thoughts in the comments.